motion sensitive camera. <laughs> yes, right now it it's, looked away. It's, it's blue, <laughs> <laughs> green, whatever those colors mean. I don't know. Motion sensitive. By the way, uh, the mogul was thinking about putting a few more of those in here. <laughs> so if you want more shots of the roof, <laughs> there could be more shots of the roof coming. Uh, Dylan uh, sent me because Dylan is a substitute teacher, our producer here in the uh, Berkeley County School System. And he sent me a uh, tag that said uh, the lowest salary for service personnel in Berkeley County is twenty five thousand eight seventy. Twenty five thousand eight hundred seventy dollars is the lowest posted salaried position in Berkeley County schools. Not a lot. That's not a that's not a ton of cash right there. So uh, if Fred was uh, exaggerating a little bit, I think. And then Jackie posted in our Facebook session uh, section that he was uh, quoting the salary of a part time cook by the way, in the school system uh, when he made the, when they made the presentation about that previously. And he was comparing that to the two months of the legislative session that the legislators get paid for. Uh, somebody posted on our Facebook uh, page, too, that uh, the salary is 30000 for a legislator. It is not 30000 it, it is still $20,000. Uh, they did uh, vote a raise, but that won't kick in for anybody in this legislature. That doesn't kick in until the next one. And I don't believe it goes to thirty thousand. No, I think it goes to something like twenty-two. I think you're right, John. I think it's more like twenty-two. Yeah. So there were a lot of numbers that were thrown around in that session, but that doesn't mean that those are the ones. The, that what happened law. is the Legislative Pay Commission recommended yes. thirty. They didn't get that. Though. That's right, but but that recommendation uh, is, is is basically subject to approval by the legislature, and I have never seen the legislature. Uh, approve the full recommendation of the legislative pay commission and i and and it's done uh i think every four years the uh the commission meets and comes in with a recommendation and sometimes the legislature takes no action at all sometimes it approves some increase but not as high as the recommendation uh so yeah yeah and i think it had been a few years several in fact since they actually enacted any type about of 10 i think yeah so yeah so I, I don't begrudge anybody twenty thousand dollars to be an elected official or twenty two. If it went to thirty, I'd have been fine with that. I don't. It's a year round job. It's a two, it's two months in the legislature. Where you ask anybody who's elected to any office, and they'll tell you it's twenty four seven three six. Absolutely, it is. Yes, if you're going to do the job effectively. That's right. Bonnie Bell is our guest in the studio. Bonnie, good morning to you. Good morning to you guys. It's always a pleasure being here. Pleasure is ours. Sent, well, I really thank WRNR for sponsoring me. And my organization every time I come in here. So You're quite welcome. You. You're a very pleasant person, and you do great work. Well, thank you. I try. Yeah. Tell everybody what you do, do, Bonnie. Okay. Um, I have a shop, Breast and Body, B&B's Health Boutique, but the nonprofit is Breast and Body. I am able to, I've been able and, and blessed to be able to put women in prosthetics that has lacked insurance. Um, this is for breast cancer survivors. For breast cancer survivors, all women who's losing their breasts due to breast cancer, wigs, scarves. Um, we've helped rent. We've helped transportation. I do overseas. Remember the last time I was here? We do. We have done Ghana. We've sent a lot of products to Ghana, and I knew Steve Redding said he wants me to go to Uganda. Mm -hmm. So, but that takes money. It takes time, and it, and I have to get help first to be able to do that. But would love to travel with him one day to go over there as well. I love what I do. It takes a lot of money in what I do. And it's not, it just takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. It takes everything. How did this become your life's work? Me. I'm a five-time cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yeah. February was my fifth skin cancer. So I went and I said, Lord, I ain't trying to be like a cat in nine lives. Like, this is it for me. <laughs> I'm not a cat. I want them not nine lives. But no, I, I love I just cancer is a, is a um, is something that's not going to go away. And I tell you, I got some testimonies with pancreatic cancer. I've had uh, who I call my son just came out of the hospital yesterday, stage four pancreatic cancer. Oh, yeah, that doesn't happen. But they got new, you know, research has done a lot of good things. It's not that they cure it. It's that they, they find ways to get rid of it and to keep you on medicine long enough to keep it away. Because everybody's got cancer cells in their bodies. Just take something to activate it. And I think we all know that. And I think everybody in here has known, 
has touched somebody's lives, has done something, and knows somebody who has cancer. Well, I've been through it. There's nothing quite like that day no. the guy in the white coat or the gal in the white coat tells you that you have cancer. There's yes. just nothing that ever prepares you for that first time that you hear that. No, it's not. And you can have, I had thyroid cancer twice and the, in the and the skin cancer. They said, this is so easy to get rid of. You know, like you said, you don't want to hear that word. I don't care what you say that that cancer has spread to another part of your body. And then they say, well, it's easy to get rid of too. Well, um, okay, but why does it keep coming back in different parts of my body? So that's a concern. And mm -hmm. that's a concern we all should have as we go through life. So we have to start taking care of ourselves. Sugar is not my friend. Mm -hmm. I got to eliminate a lot of it, but it's not our friend. And that's one of the biggest things about that. And we all love sugar. It's There's, the best invention ever. It's the best thing out there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the next question then is, uh, you're doing something about it. You've got a concert coming up, and that's yes, not too far away. Not too far away. We've had over 500 tags on Eventbrite, but they're not buying the tickets yet. And everybody's late buying tickets all the time. Mm -hmm. But that's a good number to see people are looking at it. So we are getting the word out. We are beginning to sell tickets. Um, now and I'm calling different places to see if I can put the tickets in their hand. I'm going to call City National on King Street today, Melissa Knott, see if she'll have some tickets on hand. I have tickets on hand at 305 South George Street, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I got hands at Michelle Wiggs and more in Winchester. I got tickets um, at Destiny Baptist Church for someone who has. I got tickets now in Hagerstown to different people different churches that if they need so they didn't they weren't how can we get tickets how can we get the tickets in hand what are the tickets for tickets are for vicky Winans concert on december 9th from six to nine and she where martinsburg high school okay and who's vicky Winans? vicky Winans is the sister-in-law of cc Winans. she's a gospel legend she it was part of the family of marvin wine and cc Winans, and everybody knows cc Winans. Mm -hmm. And Marvin Winans, the Winans family. Uh, she still has the last name of Winans, even though they went their separate ways and they still have children. So she's still part of the Winans family by far. So when you have that blood connection, you still got that blood connection. But she is a well-known artist. She's coming in. She will put on a great show. And she has been in gospel music for years. And we're so enlightened. We're just so grateful to have her come to Martinsburg. That's yeah, you know, when you get somebody at that statue to come here, that's great. That is really great. And that is uh, 6 p.m. on December the 9th. How much are the tickets? Tickets are $55. You can buy them on Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. You can call me. My cell phone is 540-455-6670. And I can tell you where the tickets are located as well as I can, you know, I can be able to get you the tickets. That is a Saturday night. Yes. And again, the doors will open at five. It's at Martinsburg High School, right in the uh, is the auditorium or the auditorium. Gym? Auditorium. It's going to be in there, and that's what somebody called me about yesterday. They want to make sure they got comfortable seats. Yes. Yeah, I know. And the gym hurts. And you have <laughs> you have others performing there too. Yes, we have the Shenador um, Music Group Harumbe. They will be performing from Shenador University and from Winchester. They get credit hours for that. So we're excited to have them. And if nobody's heard them sing, they're fabulous. And then we have the crew, which is a local group. And most of them are members of K uh, Kingdom, Life C Kingdom Life Cathedral Ministry. Uh, but they will be performing as well. So they know how many songs they're allowed. To you, sing. you gave an address um, uh, a few minutes ago where tickets are. I think you said George Street. 305 South George Street. That's in Charlestown? That's in Ransom, right across from in the Lion Center. Ransom, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's where I'm going. That's where my new shop is going. I'm okay. leaving Winchester, and now I'm going to Ransom. Okay. And it's been challenging. So, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> it's been very challenging. So, yes, I have the tickets there now. Even though my store is not open, the boutique is not open, I'm still there every day. All they have to do is call me, and I'll meet them there. Um so, but that's, I will have a grand opening December 1st at that location as well. At South George Street. At 305 South George Street. Right. And the proceeds from this concert will benefit what? Benefit breast and body. All goes to breast cancer. Mm -hmm. It all, all the money goes. We have, 
nobody gets paid at this point, even though we need funds for payroll, we need funds for rent, we need funds for paperwork, admin. We've raised our money, and I put a lot of the money out of the business toward that. So is, it, is this concert an annual event? This is this, this the first time I got somebody like that at that statue to come here. I was blessed. I mean, she called me. Somebody knew somebody who knew somebody, and she said, she called me. Her name came up. I said, Miss Vicki Winans, you got my number? She <laughs> said, yeah. She said, I'm going to help you. So this is the first concert, and hopefully they will get more in here. At that point, were you planning a concert, or did you no, start planning the concert after it was? I started planning after okay. she called me. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not that important to know anybody that important. So I'm hoping that the word will get out that more of those, more of the entertainers will realize that we're small people, but we, we do a lot of great work. We do a lot of great work. Bonnie, I have a neighbor who's going through breast cancer treatments uh, right now. I had another neighbor a couple of years mm -hmm. who preceded her. Uh, these are women that live right down the street with me within a couple of houses, mm -hmm. uh, not far away at all. Uh, tell me what you do for these women as they're going through these. Uh, they go through chemo, radiation, uh, mastectomy, double mastectomy. Tell me what you do for them personally. What I do for them, they'll, they will call me because I'm the only one in the area that does this. Um, and that's the reason why I moved to Ranson. It's a more centralized location for me. Uh, I actually fit, uh, they come in. I measure them for their prosthesis. I ask questions. It's a ministry for me. Uh, what type of, you know, have they had their surgery? If they don't have their surgery, they start with post-ops. After post-ops, I tell them you'll see me by six to eight weeks when they're healed. I don't put anybody in a prosthesis until at least six to eight weeks. And then I look to make sure they're healed. Because you don't want to damage the tissues. You don't want to give them lymphedema. Because if you put something heavy on them too soon, they could cause lymphedema. And that's the swelling? That's the swelling of the arms going down. And then you have another issue on that. Um, I see their, I take their insurance. I bill their insurance. That's how they get paid. That's how I get paid. And there's some that doesn't have, hasn't met their copay, doesn't have money for copay. And, and they call me, Bonnie, can you help me out again? And, and that's what this happens i mean it happens all the time and so we have a substantial bill for for us that we've been helping because most of this money we don't get large grants we have gotten some decent grants the most money we've ever gotten in grants is twenty five thousand. that is just like well that's paying for 1990 or that's paying for 2009 and you know that's how far back we go because i don't turn anybody away i make sure they get the products and so it just goes into a payable account you know that's what's due so we how, just keep it going how many people a year would you serve guess you guess guess oh i can give you a good guess because i just filed i just moved all my boxes from <laughs> winchester to ranson okay <laughs> i have i go from i go fredericksburg once a week every monday uh -huh. but since i moved up I'll, I'll be going this thursday so from fredericksburg location and from the martinsburg location we got we sold our Wetumpka location, but just with my location with those two, I service over two, 2,500, probably 3,000 client base. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Frederick, Leesburg, um, all the surrounding area, and that's why I'm coming to Ranson. So because it's more centralized mm -hmm. for me because I'm getting older and I don't want to close my business because I'm tired. But at least now within an hour and a half, everybody can reach me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who will do this once you stop doing it? I have no idea. Bonnie is going to relax. I worry about them, but I'm never going to close my business. Mm -hmm. I just want somebody to manage so I can. And I'm never going to retire. John Dole, he never retires. None of us <laughs> ever going to retire, but we just. I'm going to retire. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but our retirement still, you know, we still working somewhere. So I just want to cut back. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to go on more vacations and just get some rest. Is there another business model or nonprofit model like this in the country that you're aware of? No, not what I do. Not not at the not exactly what I do. No. You have a lot of nonprofit deals with breast cancer like um on your national level. Susan G. Coleman, uh, National Cancer Society that does a lot of research and, and the Bonnie's bus, which I can get the Bonnie's bus down there. But And Susan G. Coleman puts money on the bon Bonnie's bus, but they don't actually, that's not actually their bus. It's WVU's bus. Bonnie Wells got that bus before she passed away. So um, 
and all of that and she was really strong on getting mammograms early detection early detection is the biggest key for any type of cancer that there is and um so she's very very large on that so with that nobody has and there's, there's no grants out there for it what i do not really not on the national level because nobody took the time to say okay well they need prosthesis but the doctors are there to service and to help and to cure it you know to get the cancer but after they're taking that breast from a woman and they t the hair's gone the woman's really is left up to her insurance or if she doesn't have any there's nothing out there there are some places got some used prosthesis and say go pick them out but if a woman can't even size her own bra how's she gonna pick out a, a prosthesis mm -hmm. and, and that's the true story because a lot of women don't have the right size bra they don't know how to size bra believe me i see them all the time that's all i do is boobs <laughs> <laughs> now that's a bumper sticker yeah i have been called the boob lady it's all i do and then they you know then they come and say well they're so used to having them hanging and then their back hurts neck hurts shoulder hurts well get the babies up you know i agree get with up. that you got to get <laughs> those <them> babies up. <laughs> Get those it. babies up. <laughs> Where they belong. <laughs> yeah. All I do is boobs and get those babies get up. Get them babies up. But Vicky, this interview has gone someplace I didn't think we were going, but I'm happy it's there. Yeah. Well, we got to bring some yeah. laughter. But Absolutely. I, love, I love, love what I do. But we do have to keep going, and it's always a constant mm -hmm. turnaround. And Vicki Wine is coming here. It's been a blessed, uh, uh, you know, it's been a blessing for me and for our organization. But we do need people to buy tickets now. Start buying your tickets. You're saying you're coming, but start buying your tickets. Call me. I'll tell you where the tickets are. The show is December the 9th at Martinsburg High School in the Auditorium. Tickets are $55. The doors open at 5. The show begins at 6. There's a couple of other folks that will be performing uh, there as well. And again, Bonnie, where can you get those tickets? Call me, and I can give them all, because right now I'm getting them out to everybody. Uh, I, like I said, I'm calling City National. I got them at Michelle Weeks in, Hager, in Winchester. I'm sending them over in Hagerstown at different churches. There's... Uh, I know Christine Holm is taken to hers. I just sent her. Frederick, I have a lady in Frederick, uh, Mary Gill, who's going to have tickets. She's already got them, and she's selling tickets. So I got them all around Frederick. Um, I got them in Charlestown. I got them in Hagerstown. I got them in Winchester. So just call me, and I can give them a whole list of where they – so fo follow me on social media because well, – How do you do that? What, what's your handle? Uh, BBS Health Boutique or Breast and Body Health, or just Facebook me, Bonnie Bell. Mm -hmm. We have our social media. Follow us on Facebook. It tells you exactly. We're, we're updating that all the time. So please do that. Um, the other thing we're doing, too, young kids come out to our Yuletide Magic December 3rd at the Lions Center and get some candy. And, and I had a lady who needs some toys. So I am going to service a family this year for that as well. You're going to so be Santa Claus, too? No. No. I'm <laughs> canning them their toys and, and candy and let Santa Claus hand them. Whatever he answers. <laughs> Whatever else there. And Bonnie, what is that phone number, by the way? 540-455-6670. One more time. 540-455-6670. Right, and good. I always answer my phone. If I don't, I always call back. How much longer are you going to do this, Bonnie? I don't know, Rob. Bonnie getting tired. Bonnie bruised up. Bonnie fell, got her leg bruised. <laughs> Yes, you I'm got hurt. Up. I just I missed a step. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just tired right now. But I'm going to keep going. I got another 10, 10 years on me. <laughs> You've taken on cancer five times. A step ain't bringing you down. No, the step ain't bringing me That's down. That's not enough to it's take out Bonnie Bell. It's not enough to take me out. All right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's more fighting to come yet. It's more fighting to come. <laughs> yeah. What made you decide to leave Winchester for ransom? More centralized. If you look at ransom, mm -hmm. ransom is actually. Look at Frederick, Leesburg, Fredericksburg, Winchester, Romney, Cumberland, Pennsylvania, Martinsburg, Charlestown. So if you go around those, and I get them from all over. That's more centralized, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in Jefferson County now. Challenging. Very challenging. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot about Jefferson County that's challenging these days. It's very, very challenging for me right now. Mm -hmm. It's but a, I won't put that out there. <laughs> it's even hard to get there from here sometimes with the 340 construction that's going on. Oh, that's another story, yes. But it's almost done, and I think that's yeah. a good thing that they're doing. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for it to open. Yeah, I don't want a boulder falling on my car while I'm driving by there. Neither do I, and I think that's what they need to do. So, yeah, yeah. I think they're doing some great things in Jefferson County, and, 
And uh, um, I do I do believe that. I do believe they're doing some great things there, as well as Berkeley County. We're doing some great things now in West Virginia. Uh, any final thoughts from you, Bonnie, before we go to our commercial break? Uh, no, just buy the tickets. Come out, support us at the um, – Yuletide Magic at the Lions Center and uh, to get some toys. See Santa Claus on December 3rd, 2 to 5. Come out to my grand opening December 1st. It'll be a cash bar from 4 to 7 at 305 South George Street in Ranson. Bonnie, thanks for coming by. Thank you again. Have a great day. You too.